previous research has identified that mental health problems have been represented in almost exclusively negative lights related to violence, dangerousness and loss of control, likely to men be mentioned in relation to forensic issues, particularly um, diagnoses of schizophrenia, conforming to stereotypical images with comic representation, pejorative negative colloquial terms used, association of mental illness with loss of agency, general depiction that doesn't differentiate different types of mental illness, and medical scientific discourses and risk discourses tend to be domin dominant. And again, I think you know that has kind of a certain amount of face validity. Um, this was, a, 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 just as an example, this was a, um, a media headline in the Sun newspaper um, where it says, one, reporting on uh, uh, statistics, that identified that 1,200 um, people had been killed by people who had a diagnosis of a mental health problem. And this is against a background. Now, I don't expect you to be able to read that, but you can see that the lines in that um, graph are all you know, moving in a, in a downward trajectory. And what they recommend, re what they represent, are the homicides by people who have a mental health diagnosis in England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. And the facts are is that those kind of figures are actually reducing rather than increasing and this stimulated one of the charities the mental health uh, charities to uh, put up a mock-up of um, the the same newspaper but with a different headline where the majority of people are actually killed by people who are considered sane 